Welcome back, everyone, to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host, as always, Litecoin Leader. I originally shot the video you're about to see yesterday, but I wanted to add a little bit more context because I'm seeing more and more information coming out. We've all talked about going back to the gold standard, and we thought maybe we'd be revaluing the U.S. dollar. But it seems to be that Russia is beating us to the punch. So that's going to have ripple effects throughout the markets. No pun intended towards XRP or Ripple fans. But the precious metals and golds are going to ripple through the Forex, the foreign exchange uh, markets, and have a big economic impact. So I'm going to share this video. I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my interpretation now on what I think is going to happen to Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market next. Welcome back to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host as always, Litecoin Leader. So today, I uh, don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'm going to talk about something that's happening that people aren't talking about, uh, but it's pretty significant. Much like in 1971, that when President Nixon gave a speech about going off the gold standard, it really, if you watch the speech, it wasn't obvious that that was what was happening. Which, but what's happening now, I think, is something very similar 51 years, 50 to 51 years later. Uh, Russia has decided that they are tying the, that first off, it's two things. One, they are tying the ruble to gold. Secondly, they are only accepting rubles for their gas and oil. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is that we now have a direct path for the ruble being a gold standard. So now the ruble, the, it's roughly, I think it's 5,000 rubles or about 50 bucks for a gram of gold. Now, if you do the math, there's a bit, little over 28 grams per ounce. So that makes gold about 1,400-ish dollars if you take rubles and buy gold with rubles. So what we've done and what we've talked about before, sorry, sorry I'm merging here, but we are now at a point where we are talking about arbitrage yet again. So now, and like this won't last long, but right now what can be done in the foreign exchange or Forex market is you can take US dollars, flip them into rubles, take the rubles, buy gold for $1,400 equivalent, take the gold and sell it in the US market for $2,000. So now you've made $600 profit and all you did was cycle through. So when, you, when you're when you making money by cycling through, those cycles don't last very long. So what's going to happen is that this arbitrage will get washed out soon. Uh, but what's going to happen is that if since like Russia's established the price, so what will happen now <laughs> is that the dollar is going to have to come down. The dollar versus gold will have to come down to about $1,400 or $1,500, and they'll balance things out. So what that means is that you, the, the, the dollar, again, has lost buying power. And gold is one of the best measures of buying power, uh, along with Bitcoin and other precious metals. So I cannot predict the future, but based on what I'm seeing right now, it looks like there's a very clear path for the next, I don't know, week or two, that the U.S. dollar versus gold and silver and other precious metals will be dropping. And I expect it to go down. I, I expect the, the dollar versus gold to go about 1500 bucks. It'll probably wind up there, maybe a little lower. And silver will go down by the same percentage. So you're maybe, uh, maybe not quite the same because there are more derivatives in the silver market. But um, so what we're going to, guy won't let me merge. Nice, classy. So. 20 to 30 percent drop I expect in silver or gold prices in the next couple weeks. So they're not going to tell you this, but I'm here to tell you. So be on the lookout for it. I'm going to take my glasses off as I get to make a turn here. So a simple move like that, a simple announcement by Russia saying, you know what? You don't want to take our rubles. You don't want to. You want to like sanction us. We're going to flip the script. We're going to tie the ruble to gold, and we're going to create the first gold-backed fiat currency in a while. And now that's going to completely change all the foreign exchange or forex markets, the precious metals markets, and a lot of other economic markets will just ripple through and watch for other currencies to consider doing similar things. Because if you look at a map, I, I saw one, I think it was on uh, X22 a couple of nights ago. They, they have a, a map of all the countries that have sanctions against Russia, and uh, they have like, the, the map of the, it's basically, it's, it's Canada, the U.S., uh, a few countries in Asia, a few countries in like, Oceania or Australia, New Zealand, 
about um, Japan and Western Europe. So less than half the countries, less than half the population. Russia does not have a problem right now in exchanging things. They don't have a problem at all. So don't believe that story. Don't believe all that hype. What's going on now is that the ruble is now setting the gold standard, not the U.S. dollar. And that's going to change like the world reserve currencies and the balance of the markets. So look for more transactions on foreign exchange. And I would not be surprised if we start hearing the yuan to the ruble or uh, the rupee in India or other currencies that are going to be happening here around the globe. So again, you're not going to hear that much anywhere else, but I expect that to be a pretty big story. It's coming out this week and I wanted to get that out there before the arbitrage and the market start to really price that in. And just again, price doesn't necessarily reflect value. So there you have it. So. Not a long-winded video today, but I just wanted to share that, get that out there, get you guys thinking about the, the, all the different economic markets, and of course this is going to affect crypto. So the dollar will go down. Um, I don't. Th I, I think that the. I think that the Bitcoin may may have another dip because of this, because if the dollar goes down, it'll be a tough one. Uh, I think that there'll be more demand for crypto to hold the buying power. So it's. I mean, there's this dynamic like. If you get a big buyer in there because there's limited supply, price could go up. But if the dollar value goes down, that could also help the Bitcoin too. So it's going to be a wild ride the next couple of weeks. So just wanted to share that with you, get that out there, get you thinking about things. And hey, leave a comment down below, share this video, like and subscribe. Really appreciate you checking out the channel. And I'll, I'll, I'll close the door on the bureau, say follow the leader one more time. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. So there you have it. Uh, that was my opinion yesterday of what I think is going to happen and how it's going to play out. Uh, but I think it's going to be a two-step process. Now that I put more thought behind it. So first thing, yes, I think that gold is going to come down against the U.S. dollar, as will other precious metals. But that's the short-term effect. The longer-term effect is that um, this goes back to, um, the, I think it's a cotillion effect. Eh, maybe a play on that. But anyway, with more do more dollars need to come back to the United States because in the world market, Russia is accepting not just ruple, uh, rubles, rubles. They're also accepting rupees and uh, and lira from Turkey. They're accepting native countries. They're accepting fiat currencies from native countries that are friendly towards them to get around these sanctions and also to in effect take that bad fiat out of the marketplace and exchange it for something that's of value, either gas, oil, or gold, whatever they, whatever Russia has that they're selling. So, or, or the ruble, which is now going to be backed by gold. So I talked about this and I'll mention it up here, which I don't think I mentioned earlier, but about a month ago, I talked about how Russia was getting more into the gold uh, market. And I'll share that video uh, at some point, uh, at some point in this video, as I edit it together. But what I want to mention, I think the price of gold and silver is going to come down against U.S. dollars temporarily, but then it's going to skyrocket. And same with Bitcoin. The reason is this, is that the first, the first reaction is always a gut reaction, a quick reaction. Like if I can buy gold for $1,400 in Russia, then gold should be $1,400 everywhere. So naturally the price of gold will come down. Now I extend that to digital gold, Bitcoin, and also extend it to precious metals. But... Then comes the scarcity of the market and also hyperinflation. So there's going to be more demand for these, these rare resources of gold and digital gold with Bitcoin. So the price will start to go up, which will add kerosene to that fire is the fact that the dollars are going to become less and less worthwhile or desired on a global stage. If, if for example, if Turkey can buy, if Turkey can transact directly with Russia for gold or lira or rubles, then there's no demand for the U.S. dollar. It used to be that the petrodollar, which was driven by the agreement the United States and, that, and Saudi Arabia had, was like you had to take dollars and the Saudis would only sell in dollars and that was the way like the world transpired in, uh, transacted in dollars. If that starts to dissipate or go away, those dollars need to come back to the United States. So with all those dollars coming back to the United States because they don't have another place to go, that means the prices of everything in the United States are going to go up, which def the value of the, the currency and creates hyperinflation. So imagine that all like not all the US dollars are in the United States. They're also in other markets because they have to pay things in dollars. So imagine France. France needs to buy oil from Russia 
or the Middle East, and they have to transact before this in dollars. So they had to go and get some dollars. Now they're able to buy from Russia in their native currency, or if you're a friendly country with Russia, like Turkey and India and China and others, they can use their native currency. They don't have to go get dollars. So now the, 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 the oil market, which was setting the global stage and the demand for the U.S. dollar, is going to decline. Therefore, they get to dump the dollars somewhere. The easiest place to dump the dollars is the places that take the dollars, which is the United States. So imagine all of our dollars coming back home, and they got to go somewhere, but we have the same amount of goods. Same number of goods, more dollars means higher prices. So the prices of things in the United States are going to go up. That means the price of gold and silver and Bitcoin will start to skyrocket as those dollars come back. So what I expect as we're looking, let's see, you're watching me like this, and I'm, this is time is going, time would go this way in the chart. So you know, I expect the price to go from here. I'm going to go from this, this hand. There we go. Oh, God. All right, I'm starting. This is so bad. I'm going to start here from, and as we go in time this way, I expect the price to be about here, go up in U.S. dollars. I'm sorry. It's going to go down in U.S. dollars. I can't draw. This is so hard to draw. The price is going to go down first, and then it's going to go up after that. Because So imagine like a month or so of going down where we, gold goes from 2000 to $1,400. Bitcoin might drop 10%. Silver might drop 20%. But as the dollars start coming back, all the dollars come in here, and if we're pricing things in dollars, those dollars have to go somewhere. They will go towards the prices of these things in these other markets. So that will, that, that will be like gold, silver, things that other countries are already placing values and they have value elsewhere. They're going to be sucking up all those extra dollars in the United States, which means the price in dollars is going to have to go up. So Bitcoin may see, may see 50,000, then it may see 30,000, then it may see 100,000. All within, I would say, before July 4th. That, and that's not, that's not a prediction, but that's just the way reading my tea leaves. So I wanted to leave you with that. Also a reminder that tomorrow is my channel's anniversary. Stay tuned for three special videos in that channel or, or in that broadcast. And uh, I really want to thank you everybody for joining me and watching my videos and helping my channel grow. It's been a wonderful experience and can't wait to do more stuff with you guys in year number two. So with all that said, I'm going to close the door on the bureau, say follow the leader one more time, and I'll say take care. I'll talk to you soon.